Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 20 of Darwell20's Forgecraft series. A couple people in stream chat here were commenting about how uncommon it is for a Forgecraft series to reach episode 20, but I told you guys I was making a commitment to sticking with Forgecraft this time around, and I did. So we're doing it. Today, I've got lots of nuclear uh, fuel ready to go. I've got 512 buckets of fissile fuel ready to roll. Haha, <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of fissile fuel ready to rock and roll. Uh, and down here, I've got um, a bunch of, you know, ores being processed. I've got all these things cooking. This guy's probably, he ain't full yet. He'll back stuff at some point. But uh, basically, lots of fuel happening. Uh, lots, lots of power should be being made, right? If we come over here and take a peek, we've got a current input of a million RF a tick. We're outputting around, you know, I don't know like what the average is there, but it keeps fluctuating between nine and 200,000. Uh, but you get the idea, right? Lots of power in, not so much power out. We're doing just fine. 15 billion RF stored, which we're probably going to need to use today, I think, maybe, hopefully, potentially. Um, you know why? Because I want to play with the SPS, this dude. This is how you make um, antimatter. Now, it takes a long time and a lot of power and a lot of fuel to make antimatter. The gist is, I believe, that in order to make antimatter, which is our goal for today, um, at least we're going to start working towards it, um, we need antimatter, this stuff, right? So 1,000 millibuckets of polonium equals one millibucket of antimatter. That is a huge differential, right, in the supercritical phase shift device which is a big multi-block, right? So long story short, we need to process uh, our antimatter into polonium, right? And you can see down here, I have a, a waste barrel ready to roll because I'm gonna also need some plutonium today because in order to make SPS, we need polonium pellets and plutonium pellets. Plutonium pellets made in a pressurized reaction chamber with fluoride dust, plutonium and water. Uh, and plutonium, uh, is made in an isotopic centrifuge, the same thing that's making our nuclear fuel. Uh, we take our nuclear waste and it turns into plutonium. So just like this guy is making uh, polonium out of nuclear waste, this guy is gonna do the other thing, right? So TLDR, we've got some stuff to do. So let's take a look at what we need. Uh, and I'm also gonna want antimatter pellets so that I can make some cool upgrades, but I'd also like to make some cool upgrades today. So I think step one, make cool upgrades. Step two, start building the SPS. Hopefully by the end of the episode, we can start processing some of our stuff, but I'm also saving some nuclear waste here to turn into plutonium. Now, eventually this barrel is gonna fill up, AKA any second. Um, and in any second when this fills up, all of our nuclear waste will be going back to making polonium, which is happening now. Hello, polonium. Hello. Very nice of you to exist, polonium. See, look at all the polonium we got. Hooray. So I'm going to turn you off, actually. Scram. You. That's going to happen. Uh, and pretty soon we're going to... Oh, look at that. We have one millibucket. One millibucket hanging out in there. What a tiny little bit of polonium. That's fine. Also, remember, don't break this. This would be bad to break. Everybody would cry, and Dyer would have to cheat again because he destroyed spawn. That's what Dyer does. Um, so anyway, also I've got food. Shy's food stall near spawn. 70, negative 50. Ooh, what kind of food do I got here? I hope it's something sushi-ish. Shy's food stall, light delicious, bread, ingredients, tropical fish jerky, fugu jerky, cod jerky, salmon jerky, and dried kelp. I call that as close to sushi as you're gonna get. We should go see Shai's food stall. Was that a broken texture that I saw? Oh, look at that, there's a broken texture in there. <laughs> also, that's a thing that happened. Okay. 50, negative 70, is that where I was told to go? Oh, I bet that's it. Is this Shai's food stall over here? I'll come buy some food. Do, 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 do. And I'll even register the waypoint. Yep, totally shy's food stall. Hello, traveler. Take the food you need. All is free, but think of others. Thanks. I feel like I'm trick-or-treating. Ooh, free and supportive food. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of food. My goodness, that's a lot of deliciousness. I will definitely take some of those. 
Ooh, a bowl of sushi. Yes, please. That looks pretty nice. That is super cool. Bowls of sushi, limited stock. All right, I'm not gonna take a lot here. Oh, and it's a it's a shiniki. Beautiful. All right, so let's get situated. Uh, give me a sec. We will come back in a minute. I'm going to be prepared to get the things I need for the SPS. But first, I also want to make a few upgrades so at least I can run faster and jump higher and enjoy, you know, some of the benefits of having this this mecha suit that I've not yet upgraded. All right, guys, we are back. And uh, I'm crafting some module bases, which are not bad. Little HDP, tin and bronze. Let's make our first dude. So I totally want a locomotive boosting unit. That sounds cool. So from mechanism, let's get like, I don't know, 10 of these. And maybe like 10 of these. And the other thing we're gonna need is energy tablets. Probably knock out about 10 of them as well. And then we should be ready for a locomotive boosting unit. Pretty close. There we go, sweet. Now, where does this go? How does this work? Uh, stackable times four, left shift four, so putting, okay, so stackable times four, you say. Ah, tell me more. Zoinks. There you go. Uh, so do I just like, do something like this? Or is there like a, a thing for doing this? Is there like a table for this? Do I right click it? Well, right click seems to equip it. Shift right click, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I need some kind of table for mechanism, I presume. If that's the case, that could be true. Let's see, what's mechanism have that looks like it's some kind of modification table for this? Formulaic assembly, that's cool. Modification station, that looks like a thing. That does look like a thing. Mechanism modification station. So that needs uh, a steel casing and some kind of chest. Okay, so I just need a steel casing and two ultimate control circuits. Okay. Work in progress. Sweet. I don't know if this thing needs power or not. Oh, that's cool. It definitely looks like it needs power. Yeah, look, it's filling up with RF. That's why it's doing the bouncy thing in my hand. I've got a thing from power that's dumping RF into my player. It's over here, this dude. Player transmitter. So I've bound it to Direwolf 20 and it now beams energy into all items in my inventory. It's super cool. But you, sir, need power apparently. So, oh, look at this. Okay, cool. Mecha suit body armor. Uh, so what do I do? Put you in here? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, ha, ha, look at that. Okay, cool. Sweet. Installed one out of four. I like this. I definitely do. That looks super cool. I like this. And obviously I'll hook it up with some power. I can always like quantum it. Or I can throw this in our basement too. Would probably be a smart move. Throw it in the basement near some energy. Near an existing power line somewhere. I could throw you like right here, right? How does that sound? I like the sound of that. No, not there. There. Is this ultimate universal? It is. Sweet. Looking forward to being able to jump faster. All right, so now how do I pray tell? Let's see if there's a config option. Options, controls, category, mechanism. Uh, boost is left control. Chest mode switch, feet mode switch, head mode switch, item mode switch, module tweaker. That sounds pretty, pretty, pretty useful, right? So how about a slash? Oh, hello. Hey there, module tweaker. Mecha suit body armor. No options yet. 
mecha suit. Oh, look at you. Okay, installed for enabled true sprint boost. Ooh, I like you. Let's max it out. How's that sound? Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. That's where I'm at. So, like, only while sprinting. I like that. Whee! And it's hilarious to see me sprinting this fast and not getting a jump boost yet. <laughs> ah, but that's what's next. Okay, cool. So that would be the locomotive boosting unit complete. Uh, allows the user to both step and jump higher. Hydraulic propulsion units. So we're totally going to want four of these things. Um, so we're going to want... 10 of you, 10 of you, and that's your hydraulic. This is going to be the one that's going to make you jump faster, right? One. And we're going to want more of those power doohickeys. Which are totally easy to see when things are jumping all over the screen. Come on, buddy. That's what I get by, uh, for sorting by numbers. There you are. Give me like 20 of you, because clearly I'm going to want a lot. Energy tablets, two, really? Oh, right, because I probably used a bunch of these for the stuff. Three, four, right? So these hydraulic proportions are upgradable to four. One, we're gonna want probably 20-ish more of those. Two, three, Let's see if this will actually work. It does, yay. Oh my goodness, that is fast. I am not, I am not used to that. All right, so now mecha suit body armor, you're going to install for these guys. Also, where's my power? Do you not accept power in the bottom? Today I learned, okay. Maybe the other bottom? Nope. Maybe the back? Oh, there it is. There you are. Hooray! Hydraulic propulsion units. So then, do do and do do and do do. Cool. Jump boost and step assist. I like it. Let's go try it out. Oh my goodness, that is fast. That is fast. Whoa! Hello. That's like basic jump boost. Let's do you you jump boost. Oh yeah, we're bumping this guy all the way up. Whoa! That is a jump boost. Holy cow! That is a jump boost, ladies and gentlemen. That is not a terrible, that is not a bad jump boost. I like everything about, like I'm in the clouds. I am officially in the clouds. Holy cow. That is, that is shenanigans. And that, I am, I am totally fine with this level of shenanigans right here. I am 100% okay with it. I am all about it. Whew, little, little bit little bit okay with it like we can bump this guy down a little bit right jump boost one jump boost one is probably like what you would normally get from an armor set right like this is this is like dark armor right from from ender io or something else this is even this is even a little bit better than you would normally get from like an ender io for a jump boost right even a little bit better than you would normally get right but i mean you know then you, then you bump it up to five. So what's step assist do? That I presume puts me here, right? Now, am I correct to think that I can't step assist this, but what if, what if we bumped this guy up to that, right? Or what's step assist two look like? Oh yes, no, 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 that definitely worked. Oh, hello. Whoa. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta, we gotta science this up now. Oh look, when you, when you're not sprinting, your jump mode is normal, so that's cool. Now you do that, so that's step assist one. That's step assist two. Okay, that's cool. But no, we at least know what that means now, right? So step assist two means it can go up two blocks. One and a half, I presume, would be like if this were. Well, nope, that seems to work too. So I don't even know, but it's all good. Wee! All right, that's that's the episode. The entire episode will now be me jumping around like a lunatic because that is hilarious, and it just feels good too. It really does. 
Shy, I'm really glad that you gave me food because it looks like I'm burning through it very quickly with all my jumping shenanigans. Oh, underwater? I think there's a swim assist upgrade. I believe that to be a thing. Yeah, one and a half might be blocking a slab. We'll see. All right, so that we can take hydraulic propulsion off. Nutrition injection is a thing we want to check out. Dosimeter, teleportation, magnetic attraction is cool. This is like magnets. Um, is there a swim upgrade? Let's see. So jetpack, I was going to hold off on because I really want the creative flight one, but I might make it just to see how it is, right? Uh, vision enchantment is the is night vision, solar recharging, uh, attack amplification we're going to try out, hydraulic propulsion we got, locomotive boosting we got, excavation escalation increases digging speed on any block. I kind of want to try it. Um, breathe underwater is a thing. This is creative mode flight, but it requires, see it's purple in the name, so that's how you know it's gonna require antimatter. Ooh, and nether stars for that matter. Um, vein mining unit, farming unit, teleportation unit is also purple. Charge distribution, evenly distributes charge through all worn mecha suit. Oh, that's kinda cool. Energy unit, increases the maximum energy capacity. Silk touch, radiation shielding, magnetic attraction, inhalation, purification. Um, I don't see anything for for swim speed, right? I don't see anything for swim speed. So yeah, let's let's go. Oh, 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 he's fast. Yeah, so I'm gonna say it doesn't. I mean, it seems faster. This is faster than normal swimming, right? Is this faster than normal swimming? It feels like it, for sure. It's not like the ridiculousness that is this, but it seems pretty quick. Seems pretty good. Dosimeter, gradual, yeah, okay. Cool. What's this dolphin statue? Hello! So we went to visit Shy's base because I'm having so much fun with Mechanism, but I wanted to see Shy's base. Hi, Shy! Hi. How are you? Doing well. Okay. I'm so gonna turn Shy up a little bit. Right here. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, I like your base. This How is are cool. you? I'm doing good. Thanks. Oh, is this, is this an underwater mine colonies? Yes! I didn't know you could do that. Need of tips. <laughs> that is awesome. That is super cool. Yeah, I have a conduit all the way at the ocean monument, which is like a few hundred blocks away from here. <laughs> nice. That is really neat. I did not know you could do that. That is cool. So do they do they build underwater then? Uh, no, so what I have to do, I have to... Basically, you see the dirt structures. Mm -hmm. I basically build out the whole structure, then fill it up with sand, mine all the sand so that, uh, that there's air, and then they can start building. Also, I have to build the tunnels towards the places first, because if I don't do that, the builder just stares into the void. Oh, dude, that's awesome, though. I'm just really wondering what's gonna happen with uh, raids. Yes, they can't swim. <laughs> that's so cool, though. I love it. This looks really neat. I played with Mine Colonies a little bit in 112, and it is a fun mod to play with for sure. It's like it's like playing SimCity in Minecraft. Yeah. I really need to try to figure that one out. Oh, it's super easy, dude. Basically, just follow the advancements. Like, the advancements yeah. tell you everything you need to know. But, like, you place down, like, a, like, a, like, a structure, and it'll start, and then, like, a villager shows up, and then they start building, you know, a house for themselves and other things. Yeah. It's pretty fun. Basically, you start with either a supply camp or a supply ship, and from there on, the mod explains itself. I have one of the supply camps. I need to just do a bit of terraforming that I didn't have time to do last time on the stream. Makes sense. 
Yeah, no, they're super cool. Dude, I like it, Chai. It looks really good. Thanks. And now I have your waystone, yeah. so I can come back and see the uh, the progress. <laughs> also, I have an underwater ocean monument that I took over, hence the Elder Guardian statues. And oh, nice. it's becoming a rat infested area because I'm filling it with junk. <laughs> <laughs> Those rats will spawn anywhere, from what I recall. Oh yeah, but they spawn even more frequent on dirt. Uh, on the chunk from the mod itself, it's amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm popping back to my base. Yep. Where is my base anyway? Uh, the uh, Irishhorn, hello. Yay! I like Waystones. Definitely the way to play on a yes, player yeah. server. Anyway, I'm gonna follow Bisco Sleet now. It's one in the night, so I'm gonna head off. Thanks. See you, Shy. Take care. All right, guys, so we got some cool stuff. So I still want the magnetic attraction doohickey. Um, Are you but recording, Tyre? I am, sir, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Attack amplification looks cool. Have you played? Do you have a mecha suit, Frog? I don't. I'm, like, so far behind because I, you know, I'm working on a couple of certifications. So I play, like, a couple hours a week I'm streaming. So I'm, like, ages behind everybody else. I hear you, dude. Doop, boop, ba -doop, ba -doop. But, I, but I've been working on the mystical agriculture stuff just to try to help me get the resources I need to be productive with just about anything else. Right, right. I hear you. And thank you for those emerald seeds, by the way. Oh, you're welcome. They were Sorens, so. <laughs> help yourself. Your, help yourself to your system, not his. <laughs> well. I stole them from him, so. Okay, so now let's get an isotropic this thingy, right? Because we're totally going to want one of these. That needs a basic chemical tank. And we're also going to need couple of the ultimate circuit dudes and let's see how fast this thing processes let's also get a couple more quantum entanglopers quantum entangle porters we'll get there yeah everything's actually doing a really good job of being maintained Actually, I could have just, you know, requested it, but it's all right. It's making the things in theory, I think. Come on. Just going to request it. Because I don't know how much this is going to cost power wise or how hard it's going to be to do things but what i want to say is i want to do uh this stuff this radioactive barrel stuff ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. and we're going to pipe that into what we're gonna do you're still set actually yeah, I, don't, I don't know if we need to extract we'll find out in a minute but what i'm gonna have is the this dude here right i think we can pump into the bottom of it so let's get the pressurized tubes with you we'll see if you can pump into the bottom do you seem like you accept you seem like you accept so that's cool beans um and let's just toss this guy down on energy mode dire Side config, output all the things. Private, DW20 power set. So you've got juice now. And mechanisms got a speed upgrade and an energy upgrade for you guy. And that should be groovy. All right, cool. And remember, don't break this stuff. All right, don't break conduits or anything that has nuclear waste in it, or you're gonna have a bad time. Hello. 
Well, that was pretty quick. Are you done? You can't be done. Wow, you are done. Holy cow. What is plutonium again? You know what? It does make sense that it's done because then isn't it like a thousand to one or ten to one? Ten to one. Yes. So 64 buckets became 6.4 buckets. I'm a little bit concerned about the point two, but I guess that might be somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. I like ish the the I like this stupid jump for sure. I wish there was a way to configure it so that the boots had a had a not sprinting jump boost. And then also the mecha suit pants would have a not sprinting sprint boost. So you know how like in Draconic, you can say, like, if I'm sprinting, this is my speed. And if I'm not sprinting, I still get a little bit faster. That's what I would like to see. Um, but other than that, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, but hey, we've got plutonium, so that's good times. Uh, and now we want to export that stuff into basically plutonium. To make plutonium pellets needs a pressurized reaction chamber, a.k.a. a PRC. Pressurized reaction chamber. Start that bad boy. That shouldn't be too bad. And while you're here, mechanism, let's go ahead and get 32 of each of the upgrades. Oh, you're missing gold dust. Not makes sense. I have to reteach the thingy. So mechanisms gold dust. Do that. And what else do I need? Gold dust and osmium dust, right? Yeah. So osmium dust crusher that. It's weird that you don't see that on the thing, but maybe I'm doing something wrong. All right, so now mechanism upgrades I can request. 32 energies and 32 speeds. And then while that's cooking, my pressurized reaction chamber should be done. Perfect. And we'll just give you a little bit of power. Cool. Power good. 32, and hey, it's Forgecraft Rain. That's what happens. Yeah, I probably should have planned this out a little bit better, but... I'll just dire wire it up and everybody will yell at me. Oh, look, it's beautiful! And then I just need more crushed... Fluorite, right? Fluorite dust. Which I don't know if we know how to make, but we're going to find out. Flowerite, aka flowerite dust. So let's teach you how to make. You're in a crusher. Crushed flowerite. And that should be cool beans. Look at that. Nice. Now we just need to store your spent nuclear waste somewhere reasonable, right? We're just going to have, like, a field of nuclear waste right outside our base. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. All right, guys. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to make, like, a bunch of radioactive barrels. Let me get one more of these. Oh, here comes a bunch now. There's ten. All right. We're going to we're gonna put them right in the lake so that Soren writes me another letter. All right. That's, that's my goal here is I want Soren to write me another letter. So we're gonna make sure that happens by just by just building a nuclear waste area right underwater here. And you know what I kind of want? I kind of want some underwater breathing because I'm tired of having to deal with water and underwater and breathing and all that stuff. So uh, wasn't there an underwater breathing doohickey? There was an underwater breathing dude. Visual enhancement, attack amp for locomotion, electrolytic breathing unit? Yeah, stackable. That sounds cool.
So what we want is four of these dudes. And then some infused alloys. Let's make a bunch. And I'll get 10 more module bases. One, two. Oh, we're low on HDPE sheets. Look at that. Okay, cool. We can make that happen now. There, and now we can breathe underwater, right? So I'm assuming that goes in my head. There you go. Replace all the sand with barrels of nuclear waste. I mean, it sounds like a good idea to me. Okay. So I requested 20 barrels, and now I should have electrolytic breathing enabled true. I don't know why I need four upgrades for that. It seems like, you know, an on or off kind I of thing. I very much look forward to seeing the look on Soren's face when you do this. Uh, he already yelled at me for like mining up the sand, so now like now now I'm just gonna store nuclear waste in here. In his in his precious river. Nobody tell Soren what we're doing. I gotta say, it's convenient being able to breathe underwater. I might need some more pressurized tubes soon. Oh, we got a decent amount. Right? Isn't this isn't this how nuclear waste is usually stored? They just throw it in the river. Pretty sure that's accurate. It's fairly accurate. Okay. So you guys, all this nuclear waste. We're going to want to move these, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to transport this nuclear waste and connect it into the thing. And then we're going to connect it to this thingy. So we're going to drain these two, right, into the river. And then we're also going to drain this guy into the river. Now we don't want to put him next to this pressurized tube. Because we might wind up making a, you know, nuclear mess. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect it there in a minute. I should just put on precision mode and be done with it, but it's all good. Alright, so let's put you on this. And precision mode. Perfect. That's where we want it. So ultimate pressurized tubes come down this way. And this way. What was going on lagginess? Perfection. Look, look how beautiful it is. It's so beautiful. Nobody tell Soren. He's gonna write me another note. Hey look, in fairness, I mean I didn't I didn't dig up any more sand. In fairness, I did not dig up any more sand. Right? So now all this nuclear spent fuel, ultimate pressurized tube, disappeared and went into the barrels, presumably. Yep, a little bit of nuclear waste in there. That's, that is, that is perfectly reasonable. But it spawned, says Soren. And I'm gonna be like, sorry, Soren.
See, look, it all, it's beautiful. You can't even, there's nothing wrong with it. And then we're going to configurator U, boop, 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 boop. And then these guys should rapidly be emptying out. Beautiful, no gas stored, perfection. Cool, and you've got no gas in you, so now it should be safe to break these radioactive barrels, right? Because there's no gas stored. Boy, I hope so. Yay! We didn't cause any, you know, massive problems. Right? Right? No Chernobyl this time. I mean, we've had a couple Chernobyl episodes in this series so far, but, you know, we're getting there. And then you will be a pressurized tube. Perfect. So now, when we turn on our reactor, boom. Right? You're getting some of this. Do you only work during the day? I mean, it's a solar dude, so I guess that makes sense. I guess it makes sense since it's solar activated. Sleeping. Right? And then you get all the polonium and it's emptying directly. And then you're also making plutonium. Right, so we're currently splitting our nuclear waste from our reactor. Some of it's turning into plutonium, some of it's turning into polonium. And that's cool beans. And all of our spent nuclear fuel is going to go down here. Now, are you all evenly distributed? You would appear to be, right? So that's actually cool. You know what that tells me? You know what that tells me? Hello, baby. What that tells me, my friends, whee, that is a jump, is that it evenly distributes the spent nuclear fuel. So we can easily see where we're at in terms of, you know, spent nuclear waste down here by just taking a peek, right? And maybe we'll get more barrels. Maybe I'll get like 20 more barrels. get 38 more barrels beautiful all right so that feels like a good old wrapping up point for the episode right what do you guys think so let's wrap up here we'll come back next time and we will um use our plutonium that we've produced to make our sps okay so i'm going to craft the components for the sps between episodes and then we will build it next episode and we will start producing antimatter using our polonium. So basically we're gonna stop making solid polonium and we will strictly make antimatter. Does that sound cool? I think it sounds cool. I hope you guys are excited, because I am. All right, Double 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time and have a little bit more fun. For now, take it easy. Where's my building gadget? I thought I had a building gadget. Oh, there it is.